Good morning children. I wish a wonderful day for you all. My name is Roshima and I am your new maths teacher. Here in this session we are discussing about calendar math. You all know what's a calendar, isn't it? Did you feel or did you get any relationship the numbers in that calendar? If not, we can find it. What is the relationship between the numbers in calendar? Let's take four numbers as in square. Let I make 12, 13, 19, 20 as my numbers. If I take these two numbers, 12, 13, I would find a relation that when 12 is added with 1, it gets 13 as a result. Same as when I added 1 with 90, I get result as 20. Okay. You can check taking another sample. Let's 50, 22, 16 and 23 be next 4 number. If we add 15 with 1, we get result as 16. If we add 22 with 1, I get result as 23. Isn't it? Okay, next, fine. If we add, what would be the relationship between 12 and 19? 12 and 19. 7. If we add 12 plus 7, we get 19 as a result. If we add 13 plus 7, we get 20 as a result. Same as if we add 15 plus 7, we get 22 as a result. Moving to the next week, by adding 7, we get the relation. Coming to the downward, adding with 1, we get the relation. This is the relationship between numbers in a calendar. And if we add these four numbers, that is 12 plus, 13 plus, 19 plus, 20, we get answer as 64. 2 plus 9, 5, 5 plus 9, 14. Reminder, 64. Okay. Then, if we add this 64 with 4, that is 64 divided by 4, I get answer 16. 16. And if I subtract this 16 minus 4, when I subtract 16 with the 4, it makes result as 12. This 12 is the first digit of numbers that we are chosen. This is the first digit. You can find out many more examples like this from our calendar. Let me find out using algebra of this relation. Here, first number is x. Then the next number should be x plus 1. Getting to the next week of the calendar, it should be x plus 7. The next number should be x plus 8. If we add these four numbers, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 7 plus x plus 8. If we add all the x parts, there are 4 x parts. So it should be 4 x. Okay. Then add the integer part. If we add all this, we get 16. 4 x plus 16. We can change it like x. 4 into x. 4 multiplied by x is known as 4x. Here, 16 can be changed in terms of 4. That is, 4 4s are 16. 
the same sign is should be replaced at down and 4 4 are 16. From this two relation we get 4 as a common term. If we pulled out it outside we get 4 into the remaining part here x plus the sign should be same as from the relation and here 1 4 is pulled out and the next term should be here. So 4 into x plus 4. This is the relation. This is why we get the relation from a previous example that if we add 4 numbers and the number total number should be divided by 4 and if we subtract the number the coefficient with 4 we get the first result. This, this is if we add first number with 4 and multiply with 4. Okay. Let's do some examples. If 63 into 12 plus 37 into 12. We want to find the sum of these numbers. Here 12 is the common term. If we pull out the remaining is 63 here. And addition is same as the remaining is 37. First we want to add these two numbers. 63 plus 37. It is 100. And 12. If you multiply this, we get 1200 as our result. Okay. There are some of questions in your textbook. Page number 47. You can do it as your work. If you have any doubt in this class, we can clear it. Okay.